So someone wanted to know what's the difference between a roving eye movement and a ping pong eye movement. And to answer this question, you need to know a little bit of what ping pong is. But it's actually more like pong, the video game, than ping pong in real life. So in pong, the video game, a little light goes back and forth after it hits a wall. Hits the wall, rebounds, and you move your little paddle up and down like this. So it pings and then pongs. Ping pong. Rebound. The ball hits the wall and then rebounds. This is ping pong gaze. Let's back and forth like this. No fast component, just slow, hits the wall. In a roving eye movement, it's not going to be just horizontal. It's going to be multivectorial. It's not going to be rhythmic. It's going to be conjugate, but the eyes are just roving because they're not actually fixating on anything. So a roving eye movement roves and a ping pong pings and pongs back and forth horizontally. They're both bad, but roving eye movements normally occur in patients who have no vision. And in ping pong, it's usually a, a, a muscle problem from the neurogenic disconnection at the level of the brainstem. So your eyes are going back and forth because there's no signal from above. The supranuclear centers have been cut off and it's just firing by itself. So ping pong, worse prognosis, roving usually vision loss, ping pong usually efferent brainstem problems.